Hello and welcome to another episode of Disney Movie Investigation. If this is your first time watching, welcome to the show. In each episode, we take a look at a movie that is featured on Disney+. Plus. On this episode, we're taking a look at a 90s favorite as we take a look at the original The Mighty Ducks. And stay tuned for our bonus story as we take a look at the creation of the Mighty Ducks NHL hockey team. And if you are enjoying these episodes, I do ask that you please hit that subscribe button. That way you'll be notified with each new video. But for now, sit back and enjoy this episode of Disney Movie Investigation. So like I said, today we're covering The Mighty Ducks. Uh, this movie was released on October 2nd, 1992. It was directed by Stephen Herrick and it was written by Steve Brill. Uh, the production companies were Walt Disney Pictures, Avert Kenner Productions, and Touchwood Pacific Partners. And it was distributed by Walt Disney Pictures. Uh, the budget for this movie was $14 million, and it did a box office return of $50.8 million. In terms of the backstory, under the working title Bombay, Steve Brill would write the screenplay for a hockey movie of a coach redeeming himself. Once di Originally, the movie was uh, a lot darker, especially with the character of Gordon Bombay. However, once Disney purchased the screen rights to him, it was rewritten to give it a much family-friendlier tone. In terms of some casting notes, in uh, Jake Gyllenhaal would actually turn down the role of Charlie Conway, and Charlie Sheen was offered the role of Gordon Bombay, but he as well would turn it down. Filming would occur in Minnesota from January to April of 1992, and this movie was the start of a franchise, as Disney had high hopes for the success of this movie. In terms of the cast, we have Emilio Estevez, who plays Gordon Bombay, Josh Ackland, who plays Hans, Lane Smith, who plays Coach Riley, Joseph Sumner, who plays Mr. Ducksworth, Joshua Jackson as Charlie Conway, Eldon Hansen as Fulton Reed, Sean Weiss as Greg Goldberg, Brandon Adams as Jesse Hall, M.C. Gainley as Lewis, Matt Doherty as Averman, Marguerite Monroe as Connie Monroe, and Vincent LaRusso as Adam Banks. In terms of the plot, Gordon Bombay, a hotshot lawyer, is haunted by the memories of his childhood, where as a star player, his championship hockey team, he lost the winning goal in a shootout, thereby losing the game and the approval of his coach. After being charged for a DUI, the court orders him to coach Pee Wee hockey team for the worst team in the league. Gordon is first very reluctant, However, he essentially gains the re eventually gains the respect of the kids and teaches them how to win, and gaining the sponsor along the way, give them the team name of the Ducks. In the finals, they face Gordon's old team, coached by Gordon's old coach, Coach Riley, giving Gordon a chance to face old ghosts. Um, in terms of the legacy of this movie, this movie was very popular, and it did three times its budget back. Um, in box office returns, and it would so the success of this movie would lead to two sequels, as well as Disney would eventually have an animated series based on the movie as well. Uh, we'll go into this later, but also Disney would uh, purchase their own professional hockey team named after the Ducks. And at the All Star Disney Movie Resort, there is a Mighty Ducks themed section of the hotel, along with a Mighty Ducks themed swimming pool. So, would I recommend this movie? Um, I think this is one of those movies I enjoy every time I watch it. I really never get tired of it. It's a really good family comedy uh, with some drama behind it. Um, I really like how the story is split between the conflict, the inner conflict of Gordon Bombay and the uh, success of the Mighty Ducks as a hockey team, along with the kids also gelling together as a team. Uh, my only negative of the movie is that some of the sillier moments of the hockey uh, scenes. Uh, one example is the figure skating goal. Um, you really have to suspend your disbelief in terms of hockey. Uh, but overall, that's, that was such a minor thing. But I, overall, I definitely enjoy this movie. And I recommend it to everyone because it is definitely one of my favorites, especially of the 90s. So as we move on to our bonus story, we're going to take a look at the history of the NHL Mighty Ducks. Uh, so the Mighty Ducks was an NHL uh, hockey team and Disney's first realm into the into the world of professional sports. Uh, the Mighty Ducks was an expansion team in the NHL and they were ready for league play for the 93-94 season. So in terms of the history, following the success of the Mighty Ducks films, 
Disney purchased an NHL team with an entrance fee of $50 million. In addition, they, a brand new arena called the Anaheim Pond was constructed a short distance from Disneyland. Toy Travis was named team president and Jack Fierro was named the general manager. Ron Wilson would soon be named the head coach and receive a fourth round draft pick choosing of Paul Kararaya, who would be the face of the franchise for the first couple of years. The initial team uh, would have the lowest payroll in NHL history at $7.9 million, and the team captain would be Troy Looney, and the team would finish at a, the season at a record of 33, 46, and 5, which had a record amount of wins for an expansion team. So they weren't the best in the league, but they, did, they were holding their own. The team also had the highest record of licensed merchandise sales, and this was due to the fact that not only did they sell licensed merchandise at the arena and sports specialty stores, but they also were selling licensed Mighty Duck merchandise at Disney stores and at uh, the Disney parks. In the 2002-2003 season, the Mighty Ducks would make it all the way to the Western Conference Finals before losing to the New Jersey Devils in uh, Game 7 of the Stanley Cup Finals. The Disney Company would hold the team until 2005, where they would sell the team to Henry and Susan Samuel, who alongside general manager Brian Burke changed the name to Just the Ducks. Uh, so this was uh, revolutionary for Disney at the time to buy a sports team. Uh, I remember hearing stories of actually they would give tickets away to people as they enter Disneyland to try and get the arena filled and to create buzz around the Mighty Ducks. Um, I really like the original jersey logo with the hockey mask as the with the duck bill. I think that's really great. Um, and I know f to this day there is several like uh, uh, collectors items with the jerseys of the original colors. So uh, it's a shame they no longer own the team, but I, I totally get why they don't. So thank you so much for joining us here on another episode of Disney Movie Investigations. I, I would love for anyone to leave a comment below on what they think of the original Mighty Ducks as well as if you have any memories of going to or around the franchise of the Mighty Ducks NHL team, I would love to share your story. So as we look forward to our next episode, we're going to take a look at a modern classic, or a modern release, I should say, as we take a look at Amsterdam, starring Christian Bale and Margot Robbie. So until next time, I hope you have a magical day, and we will see you real soon.